Hey everyone, it's time for another tip from Daisy. If you're anything like me, your hands are getting raw from so much hand washing. So since we're all staying home, it's hard to get to the store for more hand cream. So today, I'm going to show you how to make a super easy one ingredient hand cream at home. So get the kids and let's start making it. In order to make your own hand cream, all you need is coconut oil. For best results, use cold pressed virgin organic coconut oil. You can also add vitamin E if you want, but for today, we're going to use coconut oil and essential oils. This is cedar wood. Cedar wood is good for sleep, anxiety, and has antiseptic properties. Or you can use eucalyptus, which can help clear your chest, disinfect wounds, and ease joint pain. Grapefruit is good because it has antibacterial and antimicrobial effects as well as known to reduce stress and lower blood pressure. You can use any essential oils that you want. I recommend that you use a good organic essential oil, but you find the ones that work best for you. I also have a relaxation blend, and this one has calendula, which helps wounds, eczema, and psoriasis, and it also has some of the cedar wood, which we talked about earlier. So, I'm going to add grapefruit and cedar wood today into my hand cream. Essential oils add restorative and healing benefits. Only use one to two drops of each oil. You'll notice on the one I shake it a bit more, and that's because this jar is almost empty. So only use one or two of each drop or you'll have way too much scent in your product. Never heat your oil in the microwave, but start with it at room temperature or slightly warmed up because it makes it a bit easier to mix it. I'm going to use my KitchenAid mixer with the whip to beat it. I have to mix it all and it can take up to 10 minutes. It really depends on how soft your coconut oil is before you start. Just be sure that you're not working with a liquid oil because you want it to firm up again. As you're whipping your body butter and making your hand cream, you'll have to stop the machine frequently and push down the oil down the sides with the spatula. Please be sure you always turn off your machine when you're doing this. And it can take a while because you want to whip it until it becomes like whipped cream. I used approximately one cup of coconut oil and that's going to give me a really nice size container. I keep this at a room temperature and I use it as needed. I find if you let it sit for a couple of days after you make it, it really sets nicely and it's a little bit less greasy. As you can see, it looks a little bit greasy right now, but it really sets in and fills those cracks in my hands and replaces my moisture. So then you can just keep it in a jar or you can put it in old containers and just fill those up with your own body butter and keep it in airtight with a nice tight lid on it. Do be sure when using essential oils, if you have pets, that they do not lick your hands or that you use pet friendly oils. So you'll need to research that. And that's for your pet's health and well being as well. Thanks for joining us for this Trip and Daisy video. If you like what you saw and want to see more, hit like or subscribe, or follow us on Facebook or Instagram at TripNDaisy777. Peace and love, everyone. See you next time. This is a Trip and Daisy production.